Hello cookbook friends, this is Carrie with Cookbook Divas, and today I'm going to be your hostess as we explore the Share cookbook. I picked it up at the library recently, I haven't looked through it yet, I haven't cooked anything out of it. I was waiting to look through it with you. So this is Delicious and Surprising Recipes to Pass Around Your Table by Chris Santos with Rick Rogers, and photography by Quentin Bacon, perfect last name for food photography. Let's check out what this is all about. The popular judge of Chopped and chef founder of Beauty and Essex, Stanton Social and Vandal Restaurants opens up its kitchen with unforgettable food to share with your friends and family. Why serve boring food ever? In Share, Chris Santos serves up the unique communal dining he's made a signature in his renowned Lower East Side restaurants. Here he offers over a hundred extraordinary big platter recipes for his creative take on old school favorites, specifically made for family style dining, as well as small plates that are fun to serve when entertaining. And I miss entertaining. I am looking forward to hosting some more parties, possibly inside my house now that the pandemic is a little bit under control. Life, uh, Grand Central Life and Style is the publisher. They do really big, beautiful cookbooks. So this gives me hope that there's gonna be amazing, beautiful photography in here. Uh, 2017 is when this came out. Let's check out the table of contents. Uh, number two, chapter two, share your cooking, or page two, sorry. Cocktails, starters, salads and a soup, chicken, seafood, meat, pasta, vegetables and grains, desserts, and then brunch at the end. Ooh, nice. Usually cookbooks start off with breakfast and that is kind of boring. Sharing as a way of life. For over 20 years, he writes, day in and day out, I should say night in and night out, I have watched people socialize over my signature dishes at my restaurants. I've always created food that is designed to be passed around the table where forks and knives are often left untouched because much of the meal is comprised of fun finger foods. My vibrant dining rooms are filled with people creating memories over their shared dining experience. Cool. Share your cooking. So this cookbook's really glossy, so it's kind of shining into my camera. Making your menu, stocking the perfect pantry, get your act together, he writes. Make it a party. Cocktail napkins, tablecloths, glasses, plates, serving utensils, la la la, kitchen essentials. All right, we're starting off with the cocktail chapter. Mm. This is the beauty elixir, which he writes, gin brings its herbaceous flavor to this pink drink, a favorite at Beauty and Essex, one of my restaurants on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Here's the Coronado. It is a margarita move over. There's a new tequila drink in town. And here's a recipe for dried citrus chips. Interesting. Emerald Gimlet, pink grapefruit mint martini. I can't show you the whole tech uh, book, so I'm skipping ahead, but here's a red tequila sangria and the best Bloody Mary. Okay, next chapter, please. Starters. How about, oh my gosh, French onion soup dumplings. How clever is that? Oh my gosh, I love it and chili relleno empanadas, a pizza bianca, chicken liver focaccia, so not every recipe has a photo, FYI. Here's avocado lemon and espalette focaccia. That looks amazing. Crab corn dogs with Old Bay aioli. Here is potato and goat cheese pierogi. Wow. Oh my goodness. I gotta skip ahead. I can't show you the whole book. Citrus pickled vegetables. Okay, salad and soup chapter. Spring pea salad with lemon ricotta. Hey, I have ricotta in the house, that's tempting. Here's his house salad with carrot, harissa vinaigrette. Oh, papaya salad, Asian pesto, cream of tomato soup. Spatchcocked roast chicken with citrus rub. Smoky rubbed chicken wings. I think I skipped into another chapter. Please forgive me. Chilaquiles verdes with chipotle chicken. Olive oil poached cod with beet, orange, and tangerine salad. Here's wasabi pea crusted salmon with soba noodle and beet salad. That sounds amazing. Tuna sushi satais with jicama peanut slaw. Grilled chipotle shrimp. Salt and pepper shrimp with Thai papaya salad. Apple cider mussels with roasted fall vegetables. Now we're in the meat chapter. Hanger steak with red pepper and olive chimichurri. 
beef and broccoli, Asian braised short ribs with broccoli puree, Korean short rib tacos with kimchi, baby back ribs with Jägermeister black cherry cola glaze. Wow, this is cool. Uh, Chirico and pepper sloppy joes. I've never seen that word before. Pasta. Pork belly carbonara. Mac and cheese with chorizo and poblanos. Creamy orzo with pancetta and vegetables. Spaghetti caprese with tomatoes, mozzarella, and spinach. That's what I would eat. Now we're in the vegetables and grains chapter, getting close to the end of the book. Spicy broccoli with soy and garlic. Brussels sprouts with orange and chili glaze. Mm. Crispy hominy. Oh, wow. With skillet corn and cheese. Have you eaten hominy before? I like it. I haven't had it in a while. Harissa pearl couscous with tahini and baby spinach. Oh, did we hop into a new chapter? Yes, we did. Desserts. Devil's food cake. Warm stout cakes with toffee sauce. What is this? I have to go find out. That is a pumpkin pie cheesecake. Apple tart with cheddar streusel. Peanut butter and jelly quote unquote Twinkies. And I have to save some of this to be a surprise for you if you ever get the book. What is at the end? Oh, brunch. Slow baked tomato bruschetta with eggs and parmesan. Triple decker croque monsieurs. And Oreo pancakes with vanilla creme icing. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. I love this book. I might have to own this. This is Share Delicious and Surprising Recipes to Pass Around Your Table by Chris Santos and Rick Rogers. Thanks so much for watching our cookbook look through and review. You can see more of them at the cookbookdivas.com blog. We have a podcast about cookbooks. We post cookbook news and info to Facebook and Instagram at Cookbook Divas. And we have a new Amazon Live streaming channel where we chat about cookbooks while you shop for them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.